I think the decision is more and should be more around, you know, the, the purchase of the home, right? You, you, you know, it's like, you know, you're, you're not going to run to the, you know, you're going to run to the altar and get married because there's a sale at the bridal shop, right? You know, you, you get married because, you know, you're prepared for the long haul. You're in it for the, you know, in it for the long haul, prepared for the, the commitment. It's the right time of your life. Okay, so buying a house is a lot like that. You know, is, is your family growing? Do you need more space? Uh, you know, are you in stable jobs where, you know, you can afford to, to you know, buy that bigger house that comes with, with higher monthly costs? You know, I, I think those are really the driving decisions. Uh, you know, mortgage rates are kind of secondary uh, to that. You know, mortgage rates are expected to stay low. So, I, you know, I don't think this is a decision of, gee, do I have to hurry up and buy a house now, even though I might not be completely ready, versus waiting six months or a year, being much better prepared financially, but running the risk of higher rates, uh, you're better off doing the latter. Um, you know, if, if, you know, again, rates are still going to be low. Um, you know, maybe you do, maybe you don't get the absolute lowest rate in history of the world. You know, at the end of the day, you know, that, that's not really what's going to matter. What's going to matter is, you know, are you happy with where you're coming home every day?